Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. It's tea time and we're getting ready for our tea tomorrow in Seagrove. Janet is finding her, what is this called? Ferro, Ferro, Fierro. <laughs> That's a car. It's a fascinator, darling. Fascinator. So that we will be in style for high noon tea tomorrow. Please have a seat, ma'am, so we can both be photographed at the <laughs> same time. And Cookie can be entertained because we got her a treat today. Anyway, bring your tea, darling. Okay. It's afternoon tea time. I don't have any scones. I'm so sorry. I just think... Queen Camilla and King Charles would be so impressed with us. Even if they used us to take the horses out for a <laughs> dog. A, a carriage. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please take the horses out, Lisa? <laughs> I know the Lady Mary will be. She'll be excited. And the Lady Mary from the carriage house tea. We have place. our fascinators. Janet is educating me on what this, this is called. It's Oh, just a little English hat looking thing. Look, when, do I need mine farther, further front? Further no, I did front? that for the viewers. I mean, in, oh, in England, they have them in all kinds of crazy places in their hair. Dudes. Hang on, let me see. <laughs> I used to do my hair like this when I was a kid, just put one little thing in there. Anyway, we're having tea and we're going to be dishing about the dishes. So, cheers, darling. <laughs> Don't strain your tea. Lady Mary would not like that. That's right, baby. So, tomorrow at noon, we'll be having tea with Lady Mary at the carriage house. Mm. This is pretty good, eh? Yeah. It's rose pet. It's called petals or something. Mm. Let me show you. Um, anyway, I did wear a fascinator when I. Um, it's called petals, it's organic. Robois tea Robois, yeah. with lavender and rose and vanilla. I can taste the vanilla in it. Um, oh, I should show the viewers. When Charles and Diana got married, I wore a fascinator Dear in, in my in my living room, watching the wedding. <laughs> she don't have that much fun when she's at home. <laughs> I watched the wedding, but I didn't wear no fascinator. No, I feel like I wasn't even in Nova Scotia when they got married. I feel like I was away learning French in Quebec, and I got up at 5.30 in so the morning. So speak French to me while we're having tea. Say, darling, we're having tea. Say it in French. Ma chérie, on boit du thé. I know no French at all except French fry. I have to tell you, we have things on our to-do lists. Yes, let's tell them what and we did today. sometimes the to-do lists um, are into the future, more than a year long in waiting. We plan for multiple years. And maybe a couple of years ago, before COVID, of course, we planned to meet each other in the real world. And that involved Lisa's passport, which never happened. And then last year when I was here, we were going to get that done, and we didn't. And today but I we applied got it for done. my passport today. It went off in the mail. So I can go to Nova Scotia when I get the chance. And we'll mm -hmm. have tea in Nova Scotia. Do y'all have tea? I mean, is it a thing? Honey, we're connected to Britain. Of course we have tea. Girl, and you know they have tea down and, there. And fast. I mean, people wear these along the streets in Nova Scotia. Now, there's something <laughs> nutritional about the Robioise. I don't know if it gives you energy or what, but there's a story there. And the caffeine level is none. Lord have mercy. I think that's the one that was good for your joints. <gasps> well, let me get a double the, dose of baby's love, well, honey. Well, listen, I'm getting it right out of uh, Mary's mouth tomorrow mm -hmm. about, about the antioxidants. Mm -hmm. and, this is and really delicious tea, though. I mean, look at this. It's beautiful, first off. It's in this beautiful can. Let me get the lid. Cool. And I bought it at the table. Okay. Get her cans over there while you're at it. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yes. So, we, yeah, we'll be going, I don't know, I guess we leave here around 11 tomorrow, and we're going to have our box lunch together. There's a table full of us going to be eating with, with Lady Mary. This one is Lavender Super Blue, and this one is Papaya Strawberry. This is what she served us cold the day that Wendy and I were there. So tomorrow it'll be me, Vicki, and Janet. And of course, we just had Wendy, uh, not Wendy, Vicki, sorry, on, online with us. Because we're all trying to coordinate our outfits. Because we're trying to coordinate our outfits with the fascinators. 
And there, at least it has a whole box of them. This is going to go with my fascinator. My fascinator is going to go with my outfit because I'm wearing pink pants tomorrow. Are you fascinated by your fascinator? I'm fascinated with my fascinator. Very good. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> I feel like mine needs to be more center, though, because yours is like up front. Well. Like it's saluting the viewers. You know, if we were attending a wedding, oh, we would be able to look at the Do British online. Do you know online. the looks I would get if I wore this to a southern wedding? Honey. They'd be like, what in the world? I was trying to play with it to see that it had wires in it that I could make it poof up or whatever. There we go. It has a netting down underneath. Mine has a little feather action going on. So today we have, we went, we ate breakfast here. We had oatmeal. We did a healthy breakfast. Oh, and then we look. worked on the vlog. Mm -hmm. We uh, pack, Janet packaged orders. We went to the... Um, post office and mailed all of the cookbooks. They sold out. Thank you so much for those who ordered. Amazing. And now we're sold out. We sold out in two days. That's awesome. Or three. Mm -hmm. Three days. Three days. Well, you know. Yeah. Three days. Three days. Anyway. Yeah. And then we went to Pete's Grill for lunch. We'll post some pictures of that. It Look, was totally... I have got to tell you what a trip it is meeting Trip. I know, right? I'm going to go cook with Trip. And we got to sit beside of the favorite son and Gunny. And Blake and Brock. Uh, everywhere we go, people come up to me and go, Janet, from another planet. They already know her. And I'm thinking, Nova Scotia's small, and I don't get that there, but I sure get that here in North Carolina. People know you. They know you. So we did that. We got the a photo for my passport. Um, went to the post office, another post office. We've been to CVS every day. I've been to CVS more than anything <laughs> else. This trip. And then Janet told me at lunch she'd never had banana pudding, but one time I would have made one if I'd have known. But we did make a rhubarb pie. Did we video that? We got to post that. We took pictures or something early. We, we, we Howard, get our Howard was together. here today. This place is like a revolving door. There's, I love it like that. Yeah, there's constantly people coming and going. And Lisa comes up with a plan, and then she has to pivot. And it's just, you know, you just have to learn how to love it and go with the flow because it's ever-changing. I've always wanted my guests and my family and friends to feel comfortable here. So, if they well, want to come by, I want hello. them to come by. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, we're taking you with us tomorrow on our adventure and the tea is delicious. And Janet, if this doesn't have much caffeine, you know what's going to follow this for me, right? You're not having another nap. Well, uh, no, not a nap. I'm going to have to have a dose of some caffeine and then, or maybe some wine, and then I'll go to sleep about seven. I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Another, another evening of Andy and I discussing <laughs> agriculture and farming. <laughs> and watching the Little League Baseball. Right. <laughs> the World Series. That's what Andy's been watching. No, uh, was it last night we watched a movie? We did. What did we watch? I forgot. Uh, Dumplin'. It was so good. It's on Netflix. And Jennifer Aniston is the mom. And her daughter is a heavy set young girl. And they're having this beauty pageant in this southern town. Where was it depicted? In Alabama? I can't remember. But it was all it was about very good. positive body image. Yes. It was very, very, very good. And then, um, so if you hadn't seen that, it's good. Love your glass. Thank you so much, Barry. I appreciate it. Um, I think it looks really good with my fetador, whatever this Fascinate is. Fascinator. Fascinator. We're fascinated with the fascinators. We are fascinated. Because we're fascinating. fascinating people. As we dish about the dishes. Yes. Dishing about the dishes. Did you notice at replacements they had a lot of this? I saw blue a lot. Yeah, and I have some of that in my house. What is this? The, well, the bottom one is blue willow or something, isn't it? It's made in Japan. Oh, Oh, well, anyway, just wanted to let you viewers know what's going on, and we're going to close for now because we're going to be fascinated with our fascinators and finish the laundry and finish packing. The only thing we didn't get to do is, since Janet's been here is I wanted to take her to Blue Ridge Parkway. I'll do that next time. Now I know I need to make her a banana pudding, and we hadn't got to sit poolside. It's been overcast all day and raining. Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining. I'm a farmer's wife. We've needed the rain, so we need it. Hey, Candy Gardener Fields. Um, so we've needed the rain, so I'm thankful for that. And I think tonight we're going to get subs, probably from Pascali's again. I just love them. 
Janet, you'll have to go with me this time. They always like go, hey, how's everybody doing? And how's your family and all that? So I think that's what we're gonna do and settle in and just chill. And Cookie loves it when we're both here. Yeah, she's. I can hear her in the other room eating her treat that we got for her today. I took Janet by Nature's Emporium and we got Cookie some bones and some treats. And so she's a happy little camper right now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, Vicky says she needs a pink one. Vicky, this is the pink. Vicky's on here. Hey, Vicky. This is the pink one, sweet pea. It's a lighter, well, that's kind of a, a peachy pink. That's a peachy pink. A blush. It's a blush. Yes. There's a navy blue. Oh my gosh, this is what I imagine. Navy. A red. Black, red, white. white. That won't even show up in my hair. We'll be able to change every hour on the hour. Lady Mary's gonna be so proud of us. And then there's a royal blue, Vicky. Royal blue. Royal blue would look great with your eyes, Vic. Just saying. That's not pink, she said. Okay, I'll give you the pink one and I'll wear the black one. I'll look like I'm going to a tea for somebody who's died or something. <laughs> all my friends are going to be so jealous when I show up to the next wedding that we're all invited to with my fascinator. <laughs> on top of my you, head. You sounded Canadian when you said when that. When I said fascinator? <laughs> I thought I sounded like Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> I was marveling today about how you don't say pie the same way you say bye i've tried to teach her to say bye because she says bye. bye 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 and the other thing she, she says she was saying pie and the I other thing she says why the doesn't pie rhyme of, with bye why we don't your, say pa at the end of your sentences you say eh? Eh, eh. and i say eh, you know eh. what i mean that's what i say at the end of my sentences i say you know what i mean janet says yeah da 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 eh <laughs> I think my English is going to be a hot mess when I get back home and people are going to be wondering what happened to me. You stayed down there too long. A southern hot mess is what you're going to be. <laughs> I need the white one. Marilyn says she needs the white one. Hey, y'all ordered these, a whole box of them. I think they were $17 and some change. But how fun would that be if you had a daughter and was having a tea party birthday party for her? Wouldn't that be cool? Any kind of girls get together or uh you're gonna halloween, see them again halloween costume you're or... gonna see them again we're gonna wear them all the time on the blog i'm gonna be <laughs> cooking in them i'll be cooking in them cutting up in them and keeping it real in these fascinators <laughs> i do kind of like it though no kidding yeah i think i could like pin my hair back hold on let me check and then we'll close for now let's see i could even do it like that <laughs> hey how you doing how you like my fascinator? <laughs> anyway, we're having tea. Tomorrow we'll be having tea with Lady Mary from Carriage House. You can go on her website and order directly. And we're not telling them the surprise about it yet, are we? No, we have, I think it's, I think I counted at least three surprises this weekend. We got some surprises for y'all, so hang on to <laughs> your fascinator. They are good ones, too. It's fun, fun, They've fun. They've been in the works for a month and we're gonna eat really good to do to, while, while we're gone too mm -hmm. so anyway i will see you guys later we're gonna have our tea and then we're gonna look at our to-do list and make sure we've crossed everything off janet and i are a lot of liking that we like to see it and we like to see that line through it yes we still got to figure out TikTok. oh maybe that will be this evening well you need to wear our fascinators when we dance on the <laughs> TikTok. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and we need to post that. I'm pretty sure you videoed us making the pie. Uh, we have some, I have videos of the rain this morning. I have things like that. Waiting. We're going to post some stuff for y'all. That's what we're yeah. trying to say. Anyway, I will see you guys later. As always, thanks for following the page. And we like to keep it fun and cook and cut up and keep it real. And we will see you soon. We may do one more live tonight. We, do, we need to do one more giveaway. Oh, yeah. If you like, share, and comment. Let's do it on you this one. You know what? One. Don't, no, no, no. no what no. we're going to do is we're going to pick a video from our archives and post it. They have to watch it. And then underneath that, they have to like, share, and comment. All right. We'll, we'll come we'll, back to you when we'll, we get the rules we'll straight. Back. Yep. We'll be back. Yeah, and we're going to do a giveaway. Because I have one t-shirt left. We could do that. Anyway. Okay. What does that mean? Something's done. Psh, I don't know. I can't operate all this <laughs> stuff. Jesus, Lord, help me. Anyway, we'll see you guys later, and I will see you soon, and we'll come back with you about the, um, that. It's contest. You hear that noise? It's cookie. With the fun. bone. With the bone. <laughs> anyway, bye, y'all.
Bye. 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 Not bye, but bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Janet from Another Planet and we are arriving at the carriage house. With our fascinators. Yes, the fascinators are on and we are about to knock on the door and see if Mary's going to let us in. This Hello, is our... I'm here for tea, darling. Well, come on in. <laughs> Hello, Mary. It's Thank so you. nice to finally meet you. How are you? And welcome. Oh, it's so great to see you in person. You too. After following your page and us tagging each other. Here we are, everyone, back to the carriage house to see where the teas are blended and all the lovely art and gifts that are for sale here. You may have watched these videos last time. But here we are again because we fell in love with everything that Mary offers here. Look at all the teapots and many accessories. And here's a whole a swivel rack of blended teas, all different kinds. I'm reading Monk's Blend Black Tea, Muscatel Black Tea, Red Currant and Citrus, uh, oolong, black and green tea, rose, herbal tea. Look, it goes on and on. Every one of these prongs on this swivel display stand is a different kind of tea. Alpine Harmony Mulled Wine. Arthritis Herbal Tea. There we go. A Ayurvedic Purify Herbal Blend. Bamboo Chamomile. So, you know, it's it's endless. I can't read them all. But as we move through, we, we're in a beautiful uh, home with antique characteristics and a lot of antiques uh, on display here as the decor. All the tea accessories. I know Lisa got a great uh, tea baller for loose tea from here when she was in in the middle of June. So I, here's the cans like you saw at Lisa's house last night when with the carriage house tea brand name on them and the look and look at all the different kinds orange pineapple uh oh uh oh look at this title that i'm seeing now sex on the beach Woo! so i think that means there's a little bit of humor here luck of the irish cherry rose chardonnay merceau wow and there's the chai i love chai Mountain Dragon, Ocean Blue, Baroness Grey, Black Current. And look at the antique teapots above. Yeah, there's a lot to, to take in. Oh, I love this display in the window of teacups hanging from the curtain rod. I can hardly wait to go through these rooms in person this time after having seen it all online when I was home in uh, Nova Scotia. From one room to the next of this beautiful home with this great architecture. Ah, what heavy phone. The old phone that you didn't carry in your purse. And artwork, artwork. Let me get that clear for you. Artwork everywhere. So now we're heading into the next room. Oh my goodness. There's so much to look at. I'm going to have to go through and look when I'm off camera as well. Just so I'm not looking through a lens at everything here. A great veranda out through the window. And here we go with some little minis of artwork. I love these. The little tiny tripods. Oh, look at the flowers. The floral, oh, the, the floral work in little miniatures. Yeah. They have gift tags for sale, yeah, cards. Beautiful. And yeah. look at these yeah. sun catchers. Yeah. Loving it. Here's the different tables. Oh, look at this sign that Mary has yes. made up for oh, us. Welcome, cooking, cutting up, and keeping it real, friends. Now, if I may dart my hand in here. Yes. 
Let's zoom in close. That's one of our surprises. <laughs> Surprise number one, cooking, cutting up, and keeping it real, peach, blueberry, black tea Yum. with our name on the bag with That's Carriage so House Tea. So How good. exciting. And you can go to her website and order. You can see a price point on there too, which is very uh, achievable, $5 for our special blend, surprise number one of the day. Wow, are we ever honored by that. No doubt. Now when we drink tea together in the afternoon, we can all be sipping the same blend put together by the wonderful Mary. Lady Mary. <laughs> That's so great. Oh, and we get to sample Cards. We get, mm. we get the VIP today. Oh. Some luncheon all set up. Yeah. I think there was one more room out front, Mary, oh, over to the side right that I missed. Uh, there right in, through, right in this way. Don't want to make people dizzy, but I'll just move slowly. Um, we paintings by Ray Betts. Look at that. I love these kind of places. Oh my gosh, she carries fiber, like yarns and wools and fiber arts. Mm -hmm. The hooks for doing the crochet is here too. And different kinds of needles. Oh wow, this place goes on forever. Some little Americano there. And hey, we should look at the map. Can we see? Yeah. There I am way up here. And all the way down to North Carolina. Wow, that's very cool. It's very cool to see a little Nova Scotia in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful pottery. I know we have so much in store for us today and tomorrow. Jewelry. Oh, I hear some of the viewers arriving in person for our luncheon. I hear Pam and Kimberly's names being said. Oh my heavens, this is something else. Some essential oils. Ooh, wool arts down here. The jewelry. Stained glass. I hear Lisa going, so nice to meet you. They're from Nashville, the viewers who are attending. We don't know which Nashville we're about to find out. Apparently there's a Nashville, North Carolina. So they may be uh, from close at hand. And I think I have one more room to walk through. So we're just going to move along and see what this last little space has to offer. Maybe catch these viewers who have joined us. Some homemade soaps. We're going to hang out with you all. Awesome. So, but being from Tennessee, where are you guys staying tonight? We're staying in this town, Ashboro, but we're not staying at your place. Okay. Went to all of Nice. Look at these crafts on the wall. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So we can sit there. It's a beautiful area. Mm -hmm. Stay there, and then tomorrow night, we're going to actually make it a three-nighter. We're going to go back. Look to at these back. people. They've got their hats on as well. well I'll have to come to Nashville sometime. I've never been. Pam and Kim, do oh, you want to give a wave? If I come, we'll have to hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah Definitely. Yeah. We're about um, 30 minutes yes. away in a or large town now. Y'all are being filmed, well. too. This is Pam and Kimberly from oh, Nashville, hi. Tennessee. Hi, They're Kim. Welcome. Hi. So nice hi. to meet you. We're just we're doing the tour and we're about to uh, cl close out here so that we can uh, go have our luncheon together. So thank you so much for following our days here in Ashboro and Seagrove for Tea with the Potters in this area of Randolph County. Hello again. I am here with a special treat because I have Lady Mary from Carriage House Tea here with me and we're gonna have a little chat about tea and learn from her. Many of you may have seen her back in the middle of June, but she has such knowledge and expertise about teas. So here she is, Lady Mary. 
Take it away, girl. Hey, thank you. Why don't you speak a bit about how long you've been in this business? I have had the tea company for 10 years now. I've loved tea my whole life, probably since I was about three or four years old, but the, the passion of doing it as a business started 10 years ago. So Mary, earlier today when we came in, you were speaking to how many different types of tea have the Carriage House label here? Uh, just to give a tiny bit of history, as I was telling them, when I started the tea company 10 years ago, I just wanted to see if I could get this area interested in a luxury line of loose leaf teas. So I started with 10 flavors of tea. Uh, doing this for 10 years now along, we now have probably over 160 flavors. Wow. <laughs> and you were speaking a minute ago because uh, our viewer who is here from Nashville, Tennessee, Pam, she was, uh, she was inquiring about one of the, what are the popular teas or even teas that Lady Mary would encourage people to try. So I would say the most popular tea probably is my papaya strawberry green tea. It is a real crowd pleaser. It's delicious hot, delicious chilled, uh, bought and served at a lot of parties and I've served it at a lot of um, health fairs. What I would also talk about a little bit um, these folks have asked me to share with you uh, so many of the health benefits of tea. Some of the health benefits of just normal tea would be that they have great amount of antioxidants in it. That's a very good thing. The antioxidants help build up your antibodies to help you fight off your viruses, your sicknesses. Uh, what else we could talk about is the health teas. We call them our wellness teas. There are teas for things like your aches and pains for arthritis. There are teas for anxiety. There are teas for digestive problems. So the whole gamut of teas for the health related reasons is just a wonderful science and wonderful business in itself. I know when Lisa was here before, um, she sampled some tea that's good for those aches and pains. And I know that people can go to your Facebook page or your website to see some of what you've put up there as photos and descriptions, but they also could email you or phone you to get in touch. And what a wonderful thing that these different tea blends can help you feel better. It sure is. And I have found one thing that my customers like the most and kind of what you were just saying is, I am here, I will talk to anybody, I'll share my information with anybody. Uh, so many people think uh, they know a little bit about tea, but if they want to ask questions, because I'm here, you can ask me questions. Yes, you could write, you could call, or visit in the shop, but that's the tough thing. If you go to some store that's just a large store, they're not going to have somebody who is standing right there who could talk to you about the tea but I'll, I'll happily share. <laughs> so now Mary, for people who are in the North Carolina area, I know that you host different special events right here, just like you did for us today. So can you speak a little bit about some of the types of uh, groups of people that come and what the occasions are where they come into your space here and, and enjoy your product and the beautiful atmosphere? Well, certainly booking private parties is what she's talking about, but we do baby showers, we do wedding showers, uh, we have done weddings here. I'm also an ordained minister, so I perform oh. the services right here. So it's kind of a wow. one-stop shop. Wow. But uh, between anniversary parties, birthday parties, any kind of special event. Now it's a small um, location here. Inside I can seat about 22 people. Outside I could seat about 24 people. So it would have to be a more intimate gathering, but we We'll do the teas for anybody and book those tea parties. So this weekend is extremely special because it's the tea with Seagrove Potters. And I want to know about your role in that and how we see your teas promoted and out there for tasting during the event that really runs all day tomorrow. So Tea with Seagrove Potters is a wonderful event. This is our ninth year doing it. We do it twice a year. We do it every March and every August, the second Saturday of each, second Saturday of March, second Saturday of August. What goes on with that? There are six different potters out in Seagrove, North Carolina, 
and you would go to those potters and look at and shop for any of their tea wares. They have spent a lot of time getting a lot of teacups, tea saucers, tea trays, teapots made for this very special weekend. So you would go out there and shop for each of those kinds of pieces of pottery. But at each pottery you go to, two different teas of mine are being served. So if you go to all six potters, you'll get to try 12 different teas from Carriage House Tea. Wow, I know that we have that in store for us tomorrow after having tasted several different teas here today at our private luncheon. And if you want to know more about teas, the different types of teas, you can visit our previous video that I can bring back up again. But just briefly, Mary, can you name the different types of teas from all that knowledge that you have stored in your head? So when I go around and do my tea lectures, I explain to people all teas come from one single plant. That's called the Camellia sinensis. So the types of teas that come from that plant are black teas, green teas, and white teas. That was news to me when I started studying about tea because I thought there was a black tea plant for the black teas, a green tea plant for the green teas, and a white tea plant for the white teas. That's not true. What makes each tea a different type of tea is what age the leaf was when it was picked as well as then how it was oxidized or dried. So white tea leaves are picked very young, very tender, they're very mild, they have a very low amount of caffeine. Green tea leaves are a little bit older and that's when those leaves are picked and they are going to have just a little more caffeine but they're also going to be a little bolder in flavor. And then the black tea leaves are much older when they are picked and they are going to be much stronger in flavor and some higher in caffeine. Now we have herbal teas. Herbal teas do not have caffeine in them, but herbal teas, that is almost a misnomer. Herbal teas don't have any tea in them. Tea is truly that plant called the Camellia sinensis. So if it doesn't have any tea in it, we still call it tea, we call it herbal tea. That's just something we've gotten used to here in America is calling any hot brewed drink tea, if it's not coffee or not hot cocoa. So that's what the herbal teas are. And the herbal teas are going to be zero caffeine. All right, I have one last question and it's from my own personal curiosity. I have a lot of friends back home who are drinking matcha tea. Lisa made one this week. I had a little taste of it. I thought it was yummy. And I need to know what that's all about, matcha tea. So in the past few years, matcha has really, really grown to become the darling of the tea world. Matcha tea is green tea leaves that have specifically been grown to become matcha that are then ground up into a fine, fine powder. That powder is then whisked into your water. It will not dissolve. It is not a chemical compound like sugar or salt are chemical compounds. They will dissolve in the water. The tea leaves won't dissolve in the water. They are a botanical matter, so you are just whisking them into your water and suspending them in the water. You then drink that as your brew. The healthy, healthy things about matcha are the amount of antioxidants that is in matcha is 137 times the amount of antioxidants that's in a regular cup of green tea. So the way I would describe to people is if you had one cup of matcha, you are having as much antioxidants in that one cup of matcha as you would have if you sat and drank 10 cups of regular green tea. You just couldn't do that. You wouldn't have the time to sit in one sitting and drink 10 cups of green tea. You'd be waterlogged, you could not do that. But one cup of matcha is that amount of antioxidants. So in the health world, it has really grown among um, health aficionados, people who are just out there trying to do better for themselves in the fitness world but also there's a lot of movement of cancer centers serving matcha to help those patients build their antibodies back up because chemotherapies will knock down your immune system. And that is something we worry about. Wow, that was so informative. So I want to thank Lady Mary for hosting us today. She has been so gracious and the hostess with the most is the live music beautiful box luncheon brought in. Can you name the restaurant for that? The restaurant who provided our box lunches is Nanny May's Bakery and Cafe. They are right here in Asheboro, North Carolina. 
They're in downtown Asheboro on Sunset Avenue, and they did a great job. They sure did, and we had gifts at our table. We had a draw for uh, one of the, Pam, one of our viewers won the drawing, and this is the kickoff to a day and a half of nothing but fun. For me, it's like the Facebook page has come alive and three-dimensional. I get to meet these people whose faces I've played with and videos I've edited. And so I hope you all are having a great time joining us live. And I hope you will continue to tune in throughout the rest of today and tomorrow for Tea with the Seagrove Potters. Thank you, everyone, from Cooking, Cutting Up, Keeping It Real, on location. It's Janet from Another Planet and Mary Merchant. Hello, everyone. It's Janet from Another Planet, and we are here at the Tea with Seagrove Potters. We're at the Carriage House with Mary Merchant, and we have been recording videos because the live feed hasn't been good. So we'll have some great video footage in store for you later. But right now, I want you to have a peek at the live musicians that Mary had brought in for us, and they are serenading us during our lunch. And of course, we all have our fascinators on, but let me turn the camera around and let you have a look at this. Hey, that was wonderful. Listen, can you say your names for our audience again? Uh, I'm Alton Elliott. And you are? Robert Perkins. And is that what you call yourselves as a duo here? We are an original formula here. You're right on. And you work with Mary Merchant quite a bit, I guess. She, she helps sure you out a bit. She sure does. And do you always do this style of music? Yes, uh, this is pretty much what we do. It's, uh, it's a laid back, uh, some spiritual Gospel, country, bluegrass, you name it, we'll, we'll try. Well, the songs you've been playing, I know many of them, you know, we play them in Canada. Mm -hmm. And so when I was filming you earlier, I thought, oh, I could sing along to that, you know. <laughs> that's, that's good. Yeah, yes. I and I see some fancy guitar work over here. Did you take lessons or? No, just listen to records. Listen to records and tell, taught yourself. Yeah. How long have the two of you been working together? Uh, Say it again, 1987? Mm -hmm. Wow. So how often do you get to play together? About two to three times a week. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And have you played here at the Carriage House Tea Room before? Yeah, plenty of times. Plenty of times. Yeah. Right on, right on. Well, thank you so much for playing this beautiful music for us as we eat our lunch here today. It really adds to the atmosphere and special treat from the two of you and from Mary during our visit for this Tea with Seagrove Potters today and tomorrow. I'm going to see if the live feed will hold while I move through. Okay. Well, while I move through to the uh, dining area, our recorded video that I did earlier when we couldn't get on a live feed will show you um, the details of all the different teas at closer up and the uh, tea uh, accessories and teapots, so many different blends of tea here. And Mary had has a surprise created for the viewers that I we announced in the recorded video, which I don't know when we'll get to post. But here's our gang. And we have a couple of viewers who flew in from Nashville, Tennessee, here with us, Kim and Pam. And they have been following Lisa's calendar and agenda and going around to the different shops that she has visited on the live so that we do. Yes, we are. <laughs> Tell us where you've been. This is Pam, right? Yes. Yes. Where have you been so far? We went to uh, Guilford in Maine mm -hmm. this morning, and we went to Whitaker's Farm, and it's been lovely. And now we get to chat Lisa up and meet her sister-in-law, Vicki, and have a wonderful lunch here at Mary's place. There's Vicki over there with her fascinator. She got the pink, she got the pink one in the end, y'all. And, and there's Kimberly. I had my head on, but 
<laughs> you say, yeah. So how did you travel to get here? Did you drive or how? Yes, we did drive. And we how long drive. of a drive is that? Well, we didn't come the whole way today. We uh, came to, we drove to Asheboro, was it? Asheville. 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 Yes, Asheville last night, and we stayed uh, the night there in Asheville, and then this morning drove here. Have you been to North Carolina before? Um, yes, in fact, I think we lived here for oh, about wow. a year and a half uh -huh. in um, Rock Hill. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. So this is like coming home, right? It was kind of, yeah. Yeah. Home. It's so nice yeah, to meet yes. viewers too in yeah. person. Yes. Um, I only get to do that in very rare occasions, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel like I know you guys because I see you on the blog and if you're commenting and interacting with me, I just feel like we're all friends. Yes, plus yeah. these two have been emailing us back and yeah. forth with their plans and yeah. I think it's really neat that they follow along with what Lisa does and then they get to uh, okay. come see it in the real world. Can I just tell the viewers? Oh, the you're going to announce it. Okay. okay. Go. Listen. Listen, Linda, listen. <laughs> Lady Mary has formulated our very own blend, and everybody in this room had it. Is it not oh, delicious? Yeah. It's so good. It's yes. delicious. She called me, and she said, now, what flavors do you like? I said, well, I like seasonal flavors, and I also love lavender, which I've enjoyed all the teas that I bought here. But now we got the cooking, cutting up, keeping it real, peach, blueberry, black tea. Yummy. Yes. And you can get yours on the website, which is right, hold on. CarriageHouseTea.com. CarriageHouseTea.com. So Mary sells her teas all over the place. We did announce this earlier in a recorded that we'll post tonight. We had a close-up, and I believe it was a $5 price point. But I'm going to come over here and talk to the other table. We have people representing the heart of North Carolina, and Randolph County Tourism is a part of this event and helping to fund it and support it and advertise it. Susan Dosier is our contact, our main contact, who's been helping us out. And here is Lady Mary herself. I'm so happy to meet her today. So Mary, tell us a little bit about that tea blend that you made. Uh, the peach blueberry? Yes. Well, I called Lisa and I said, her, tell me a little bit about what you enjoy cooking. So she started talking about different cobblers she's made. And I think right now she said she's been doing a lot of work with peaches. So I said, so how about we start with a peach face? And do you like blueberries? And she said, I love blueberries. I said, do you like them with peaches? She said, I love them with peaches. So I said, how about that? It'll be your blend. That's lovely. Now, can you repeat to the viewers in case they're interested in ordering what the details are about how to get that cooking, cutting up, and keeping it real tea blend that you've made? For that, you would just go to my website, which is carriagehousetea.com, and you scroll through there, and you'll find this is a black tea. So you go to the black tea section, and then alphabetically is how it will be listed as the cooking, cutting up, and keeping it real. So that would be the blend that you find on the website. That is so exciting. So when we have tea with you online, or Lisa does in the afternoon, you will be able to drink the same tea, uh, a shared brand between Carriage House and Cook and Cutting Up, Keeping It Real, by going online to make that purchase if you're interested. And look, this place is fabulous. I hope we get a, another video in with Lady Mary here in a bit and discuss some of the teas again. We'll be back with you. It's a busy two days. It's Janet from Cook and Cutting Up and Keeping It Real on location.